This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Jill Gonzalez, who is a senior analyst with a company called Wallet Hub. And Jill, thank you so much for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So I wanted you on because Wallet Hub has done an interesting study in which you rank the 50 states in terms of whether they're good or bad to start a business. And sadly, Pennsylvania ranks 44th or seventh from the bottom as a worst state to start a business. Why is that the case? Yeah, I'm sure that won't come as a shock to anyone who has started a business or has tried to start a business in Pennsylvania. It really has a room for improvement across the board. And we looked at three main categories here. What does the business environment look like currently? How accessible are resources? And what type of growth and business costs are associated with it? And like I said, Pennsylvania really could use improvement across the board but especially when it comes to right now, just what's happening within its business environment and its business costs. Is that related to the fact that we have one of the highest corporate net income taxes in the United States? I know it's coming down. It came down a little bit and Governor Shapiro says he wants to bring it down a whole lot more. Does that, is that factored into this? Absolutely. So we look at the effective state and local tax rates for corporations and Pennsylvania ranked 47th out of all 50 states. Number one would be the lowest. So very, very high. One of the highest in the country right now that effective tax rate on businesses is around 24.4%, which is very high and certainly higher than the national average. I think folks watching this may be asking themselves, okay, so Pennsylvania is terrible. What is, what's the best state and what makes them the best? The best state is a ways away. So I, I don't know if you're packing up and moving here, but the best state, at least for this year, we update this yearly, is Utah. And that, if you have been there lately, again, should not come as a surprise. It's kind of been dubbed as the Silicon Slopes rather than the Silicon Valley. It's seen such a boom. And this is since, since around the pandemic such a boom in new businesses and startups that have really been doing well there. Is part of the problem that you have to navigate in Pennsylvania a lot of different jurisdictions, local, county, state, you might have authorities that deal with transportation. Does that make a difference in terms of whether Pennsylvania is a good place to start a business? Taxes are one thing, but, but the other side of this too. It certainly doesn't help. You know, that that is one thing that we factor into accessibility and how accessible are resources. Uh, so, you know, creating a type of one-stop shop for new business owners or even existing business owners so that they don't, uh, you know, up and leave and go elsewhere would certainly be helpful, but it's hard to do. You know, we've seen other states that have done it and have seen success through it, but but a lot of times, you know, it's easier said than done. Does it matter whether a state is strongly unionized? Pennsylvania has a reputation for being a strong union state. I'm a member of a union, many of us are. Uh, does that make a difference when it comes to your evaluation? Here, we don't see a strong correlation with the metrics that we use, and we used about 50 metrics in all. Uh, so, you know, right now, the top states we, we talked about, Utah, Florida is one, Texas, Colorado, Idaho, some a little bit more union friendly than others. Well, I really appreciate uh, you, Jill Gonzalez, senior analyst from Wallet Hub, joining us today to help us to understand why Pennsylvania is really down at the bottom when it comes to starting new businesses. We've got a new government coming in. Maybe we'll see some changes and you're going to rate us higher in the years to come. Thank you so much for being part of the program today. I really appreciate it. I hope so too. Thanks. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.